Now single and over 40, Cheryl still hasn't given up on finding that perfect partner. I believe in marriage. Um, I, maybe because my parents are so happy. But I think it's a wonderful institution, really. And I think that be, accepting the bad times and going through them and growing with the other person, because everybody hopefully grows in life. And if you can make the other person understand this growth and lead them along with you, um, then, and you even go through the bad times, uh, it's too, it would be too easy to throw in the towel. I think then it's like you putting, you know, bricks and building this incredible strength, this strong wall. And, um, I've always been a long-term thinker, both in my career <laughs> and, uh, with this, with this, starting this company, design company, um, in my relationships, always long-term. Are you good with fashion? yourself i designed my own line of clothes mm -hmm. and have for eight years um so i know a lot about it i know a lot about color about fabrics um i've worn everything from the worst to the best um i am not a good shopper i go into a store and i get totally confused and all these racks of clothes just i don't know what to do with them and i'll go over and pick something out and it seems like a good idea at the time but I get it home and never in a minute because I'm surrounded by the people in the shop who are wearing clothes like that and they look pretty terrific I get home and it has nothing to do with my lifestyle and I've uh it so makes me feel so much better to hear you say that <laughs> I do the same thing you know and you just I have a closet full of mistakes I know and that's so discouraging and it's just not nice because the clothes are perfectly good they're just not right for um, for the way I live, mm -hmm. uh, for the way I want to look. What about the situation with, uh, with age? I mean, now, I mean, most of the models, it seems, are like 16, 17, 13 even. A lot of them are in their 30s, too. Yeah. I think that's another trend which is positive, uh, is that age doesn't, I mean, beauty doesn't necessarily depend on age, uh, on youth anymore. People like to see fitness, uh, to see a certain strength, they don't, I mean, it, it's kind of irritating when people think, you know, model thin, because that no longer, if they read the fashion magazines, is in. A girl can be sent home pretty fast for being too thin. What's really important today is exuding a healthiness, a fitness. They like to see figure, they like to see muscle, tone, um, and no matter what age, you do not look your age at all in any way, shape, or form. But even if you did, I don't think it would matter in your career. It's never really occurred to me also to lie about my age because it's such a natural part of me. It's like lying about having ten fingers. I mean, it's just, it's, it's me. And there's nothing that can be done about it. It's what it is. So the older you get, the wiser you get. And that's kind of fun. And, and that compensates for any imperfections you feel you might have because so much more is going on inside that it's much more interesting. For every girl who dreams of becoming another Cheryl Teagues, here's a little advice straight from the model's mouth. It doesn't all come easy. There are a lot of beautiful faces out there, but beauty alone doesn't make success last. Stay with us.